It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and today we have a brand new beer from a brand new British brewery. I'm really excited to give you Pillar's special release batch 2020. It's their Icebox coming in at 10% ABV in a 330 milliliter bottle. Look at that. So an Icebox is it's a, it's a technique of brewing. It's a brewing technique where you freeze the beer, take some of the water out, and then, of course, you've taken the water out so there'd be more alcohol in the volume because alcohol doesn't freeze. That's a very, 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 very short introduction into Icebox. Um, it's a real shame that we have to cut into this neck because it looks really really good i've got the privilege uh, and i'm really pleased to have the privilege of because they've worked really really hard on their branding has pillars but i'm really pleased to have the opportunity to review uh, some of their beers on youtube in fact they're they're full range there we go we, we've got that that open there now we can crack it nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening they're based in London uh, Walthamstow Walthams I remember Walthamstow blimey E17 I'm not on about the postcode, I'm on about the band. <laughs> I'm showing my age now, isn't I? I really am showing my age. E17. Yeah. We're gonna be baby. Deep, deep down. <laughs> Have I ever sung in a beer review before? Um, I'm feeling quite chirpy tonight. Uh, we got a one finger tan coloured head. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful looking beer. Good levels of carbonation rising at the side of the glass. That is a lovely looking beer. Look at the rich mahogany coloured beer. And look as you as you rock the beer back and forth, you can see that carbonation chasing the head up the glass. Look at that. Fabulous stuff. Quite clear as well to look at. With it being a lager, I'm not surprised at all that it's uh, a clear looking beer. Uh, let's get the aroma then. Mm. Wow. Roasty and nutty and biscuity and bready. An ice box is a lager. Uh, it's an interesting concept, this, from Pillars. Um, they've, they've, they've come out, uh, they've launched, they're branding. Their branding looks really good. Some of their bottles are in the little French stumpies uh, with orange, an orange label, but it's very similar branding to this. It looks very unique, very nice. And they're, they're, they're predominantly a lager brewery. They've come out as being a, a, a lager brewery. And I like the idea of that. I really do like the idea of that. There's not enough good quality lager producing breweries in the UK that just want to produce lagers. And, and I, for me, more the merrier, more the merrier. Let's dive into this then. It smells fantastic. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Lots of toffee. Quite rich. Biscuity. Bready. Nutty. Touch of raisin. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's really... Really very, very luxurious. That's the word I'm looking for, luxurious. It's just, 
it, it's quite low, although though it's got great head retention, although it's got really, really good head retention, it's quite low on carbonation. But I can excuse that. I can excuse that for the for the flavour. It's it's really nutty, biscuity, bready, touch of licorice in there. Rich and roasty and toasty. Oh yeah. Mmm. And and you can forgive that. Uh, you don't really want a massive burst of carbonation on this beer. I would still say that the carbonation's on the low side, if I'm perfectly honest. I'd say it is it is on the low side. It could do with a little bit more carbonation. But what you've got to bear in mind is is this brewery. It's a brand new brewery. They they they're out. They they they've nailed their branding. They've done a really good job on their on their first ice box. I wish them all the very best of luck. Really, this is an independent beer review. The guys over at Pillars Brewery did step out and say they sent me an email and they said, "Do you want to try some of our beers?" And of course, yeah, I'm going to say yes. Um, but it is an independent beer review. It was just the case that the brewery just sent the beers over uh, and we accepted them. So, so there was no. Um, and I like to say this in my reviews now because the channel is growing. Um, it is a certain size, um, but but no money change hands um in, in in terms of beer reviews and, and being sent beer i purely rely on the youtube um program for my for my earnings and i just like to clarify that i really do because i've come out i have come out i can hear myself in the review kind of Big in this brewery up, you know, new brewery, new lager brewery, and it might sound a little bit like it's it, it, it's a sponsored post, but absolutely not. One hundred percent independent. I mean, it's just a really nice beer. It's just a really nice beer, and and their branding is really kind of. Sometimes you see beer and you go, "Ooh, I like the look of that." For whatever reason, might be the font, might be the the simplicity of the label. Might be that it's really colourful. I'm not. I'm not a designer. I'm not. I'm not a a, a can designer or a bottle I, a designer. But sometimes something, the magpie in me, the magpie in me just goes, oof, oh, we'd have that. I like the look of that, and I really, I really like the look of that. I really do. I'll just quickly. I've got it in the door of the fridge. I'll just quickly grab one of the other pillars beers to show you. This is the stumpy bottle I was talking about earlier on. Their Pillars Hop Lager. Brewed in East London. I just like the... I just like that. I like that. I like the... It's very simple, but it's very good. Right. The UK's first ice bock. This yearly release is a nine month labour of love. A rich silky lager with a caramelised toast like character brewed using freeze concentration for an intense, intense <clears throat> full bodied flavour. 10% ABV. So yeah, very quickly, ice bock. Uh, my explanation earlier was that they, they freeze the beer and they take out, because alcohol doesn't freeze, water does. So they take out the water. It's going to be much more complicated than that, trust me. I'm just giving you a simplified version. But they take out the ice, the water from the, from the beer. Um, it will all have to be in a sterile process as well. Um, and then of course, but I suppose freezing it makes it a sterile process in a certain kind of degree boiling as well makes things sterile freezing does too so i suppose freezing the beer kind of helps with that kind of sterile process at the same time 
But yeah, um, that's that's the simple term of how to brew an ice block is to freeze it and take the take the water out and then you thaw it out and then you've got less water so you've got more alcohol. Very simple, simple way of explaining it. I'm going to get on and rate this beer then. The special release batch 2020 Pillars Ice Block. Uh, rating for me looks very, very nice in the glass. The UK's first ice block. And now that, that's something, isn't it? That's something to to behold. That's something to go. Why hasn't anybody thought of that before? Because it's, it is such a lovely, lovely, roasty, toasty lager. I like it. I like it enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.